coming off a overtime victory, 77-76 over Montana. Coach, we were talking about it before we went on. Uh, how fast is your heart rate right now? Yeah, no <laughs> doubt about it. You know, um, we talked about today being resilient. You know, they're going to punch, you got to punch back. And obviously we had a really good lead again. And, you know, credit to them and their coaching staff that did a really good job of just managing that. I thought we did a good job of managing ourselves in terms of, you know, not getting too discouraged and finding a way. I, I think we learned some things about ourselves and that's really important in games like this, that we can do it. We locked into a set towards the end and, and knew what they were gonna do and locked in and, and we rebounded down the stretch. We made free throws down the stretch, all points of growth for us. But um, I would have liked the bigger victory because we had that lead again, but um, we're gonna continue to learn how to grow and, and, and really capitalize on that. Uh, through experience but the one thing that you guys did tonight you know on on friday night that 19 point lead and at the end they just kind of shrugged it and, and kind of walked away but the ladies stepped up tonight and and really in that overtime starting with two big three pointers and then the free throws down the stretch from hannah simmental mm -hmm. and two big free throws from jasmine gales there to seal that one yeah and it just tells you exactly what um we're growing into and I'm really proud of us. Um, we did not play anywhere near perfect, perfect execution, any of that, but um, we found a way and, and we did show our resolve, especially through um, a tough year. And uh, I'm just really proud of our kids for staying the course. When I look at the stat line here, I see Alicia Davis, 21 points, 14 rebounds, beast mode again, something you and I talked about pregame. And, and that was on a tough shooting day, eight of 20, and she still finished with 21 points. I can tell that free throws have been something that Coach Sean LaBeouf has been emphasizing. I hear him sitting here talking to each free throw shooter as they go to the line, and she's looked a lot better from the line. Yeah, you know, we, you, know you always go into the season with you know 75%, 80% as your goal, and when we don't reach that, we talk about it. We don't go in and yell at them and scream at them. We just say, hey, that's, that's got to be our standard. And so every day we work on free throws. Every day I want the focus, and it's something that we continually talk about because layups and free throws win games. And we know that. I mean, that's been the that's been the thing the whole year. And so, um, you know, I think I'm proud of her. I, I'm proud of her resolve. And you know, she had some missed baskets early on, and she came right back at it. And that's huge growth for her. Her free throw shooting was growth. Um, but yeah, she definitely has beast mode, and and, and I'm super proud of her today. Six double double of the season, mm -hmm. twelve or thirteenth of her career. So, and then you got to go from which I think of Alicia as a seasoned veteran and she's only a sophomore, to the freshman in Hannah Simmental coming off a 19 point game on Friday night, kind of struggled a little bit shooting, but finishes with 16 because she went eight of 10 from the free throw line. None bigger than those overtime free throws. I was talking about it on the air about how a freshman to step to the line in that time and just knock them down like there's nobody else on the court. Yeah, and you know, you see that every day with Hannah, and uh, she's consistent in that. She's <coughs> consistent in her regimen. She's co consistent um, in all of those things, and, and it's no surprise that she can step to the line and hit those, and super proud of her. I, you know, defensive end of the floor, she's really good. She got some huge rebounds for us as well. Um, just all around consistent basketball, and, and that's what we need more of um, as we move forward, and I think that's where we're headed. You and I talked before the game about how this team was like right on the precipice of what I call being a really good basketball team. And tonight they showed some of those items out there and in being a really good basketball team. When you start looking at, you know, one person struggling in Jasmine Gale's shooting, but everybody else steps in and picks her up. Mel Finau comes in and hits three big three pointers and Everybody's like, wow, where'd that come from? But that's how this team is. Someone struggles, someone steps in. You know, and that's ex exactly what we preach, actually. I tell them all the time, look around this room, and we have enough talent. We have more than enough. You have tons of talent. We can play different styles, different ways. And I'm so proud of them t for stepping into that. You know, sometimes it's star, be the star of your role. And we talk about that, and we say, you got to be the star of the role, and you're a piece of this puzzle. And when you approach the game that way, then everybody's ready. And we do need everybody because Lex hit huge threes tonight. She mm -hmm. stayed focused and she stayed together. Um, even after getting a three hit, 
in her in her face to force overtime. She comes right back out and shows resolve as a senior. And so I was really proud of that. I'm really proud of the Mel coming in and stepping up. Um, you know, Jasmine Hannah hitting free throws down the stretch. Jaden Galloway just playing great defense and, and learning how to run the team um, <laughs> with not a lot of game experience. So you can see what I see. And I told them at the after we lost right before Christmas that, you know what? It doesn't matter. We just have to keep getting better. Just keep getting better because I do think we have a makeup to be a championship level team, but there's no shortcuts to it. I totally agree, Coach. Tough set on the road now to Montana State. Tough Montana State basketball team. They haven't had a lot of conference games. Actually, they haven't had any conference games. They've all been canceled on them. Mm -hmm. What do you look for in Montana State? Well, they're really good in their guard play. You know, no doubt. Um, Darren White, freshman of the year last year. Um, they're always really well coached. They're solid across the board on the defensive end. They mix up defenses. So we're excited. We can't we can't wait to get up to Bozeman and, and compete. You know, we're, we're privileged that we get these opportunities. And I want to keep looking at it like that and keep growing. And, and we'll see what happens up there on the road. Hopefully we can carry some momentum. All right, Coach. Well, good luck at Montana State and Bozeman. Hopefully the weather's a little bit warmer there than it is here. And we'll see you back here on the 14th. Thank you.